I'm in my house, which can only mean it's another story time. Okay, actually, I didn't make any vlogs recently, and that's mainly because I just didn't go anywhere interesting. <laughs> at this time, um, at this period in Japan, it's like uh, just after Sakura season, and I guess it's like in the middle of spring. And same as England, really, it just rains so much. And it's not just like rain, it's also humid, so it's just like warm rain. It's kind of like... It feels like it's raining miso soup. I really hate it. And it's not good for taking your camera outside. So generally, um, I don't really film around this time. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit in my house and tell you a story. Okay, so actually I did go somewhere recently. Um, my friend who is fresh back in Japan, she was interested in visiting a host club. And typically, if you're gonna go to a host club, I would suggest not going by yourself for the first time and also definitely take someone with you that's been there before because there are just some things that make it easier if you know what you're doing because um, it is kind of like a process and also um, if you know what you're doing you can go there for super cheap and if you don't know what you're doing you might get scammed like I've heard of cases where people have got scammed so it's just better like anything else to go in knowing what you're doing as a disclaimer, I really wouldn't visit host clubs if you uh, get easily addicted to things or if you have like a difficult relationship with men, like you find yourself often trying to give them everything that they want and you find yourself being easily led. I probably wasn't, wouldn't visit if I had that kind of personality, but for me, um, I've done my research, I know what it's about, I know what I'm going into, and it's just kind of like a service. Like, you're just supposed to ha go there and have fun. Um, also, like, hosts aren't really my type, so I know I'm not just gonna, like, fall in love and spend all my money there. Because one, I don't have that much money, and two, I just, they're just not my type. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, I made a video about hosts before, uh, about my old experience going to host clubs, and if I was you, I would give that a watch first, because when I used to go to host clubs, this was like seven years ago. Um, so going now and going then is completely different. And honestly, this time I felt really, really out of my depth because it has been such a long time and things do change in that time. Like trends change, uh, the system changes. Um, obviously back then I feel like the economy was doing much, much, much better. Um, and now it's not. So I definitely felt that this time when I visited Host Clubs, I could almost feel like mm, a lot has changed. I just thought honestly it would be good content for a video. And my friend who is fresh back in Japan, she's always really wanted to go to a Host Club because she actually wrote um, her thesis on Host Clubs when she was in university. And for her it's kind of like, I don't know, like a science experiment in some ways. And um, when I heard that she was going, I really didn't want her to go by herself because I feel like uh, anything like this, and particularly like um, nightlife in Japan and horse clubs and stuff like that, there is a process and there is a way of doing it that makes it cheaper and easier than just going in blind. And I don't know, I just didn't want my friend to be drinking alone in Kabukachu at night anyways. So I thought that I would show her how, at least how to do it. Okay, so I picked up my friend, um, before we went drinking, we actually decided to do something a little bit classy and we went to Lajuri in Shibuya and we were Lolita and we um, had like the new Easter desserts and macarons that they had. It was a very, very cute day and then we got changed into our slattery clothes and then we decided to get ugly drunk. Yay! In this situation, I was the senpai so I decided that I wouldn't drink that much. My friend introduced me to a bar owned by her friend. He is a Japanese guy but he speaks English fluently and it was actually more like a pub, like an old uh, English style pub. It was very, very nostalgic for me. It was great and uh, we went there in the late afternoon and we just had a few drinks and we chatted and I explained to her the system. My biggest worry was that the system had changed since I had done this because back then what you would do is you would go outside and you'd find a catch, someone who is uh, finding customers for host and hostess clubs and you would ask them, hi, like I have this much money and I would like to go to this kind of establishment, would you be able to show me? There's also like, like kiosks of information booths and if you go there and ask them, they'll actually 
uh, show you a list of places that you might be interested in. I don't know, it's very like professional, like the way that Kabukicho works. And I knew that like the system could have changed because I remember back in the day people could just solicit you on the street. I know that back then it was still illegal but people wouldn't get caught out as much. But these days I feel like people solicit almost not at all. Um, because I think now the police have actually started cracking down on it. So I was like, how am I going to find someone to take me to a host club? Then uh, we were talking to my friend's friend, to the barman for a while. And obviously he has a bar in Kabuki Chow. So I asked him if he knew a reliable catch or someone that could introduce us to a host club. And he did know someone. He uh, gave me the guy's line and I mailed him and I said... Uh, hi, I'm a friend of blah blah blah. Do you know a host club? And this is where you have to kind of like negotiate because uh, I said oh, we are two foreign girls, we both speak Japanese. I want to spend no more than uh, 2,500 yen and I want to spend like maybe an hour in a host club. You can also say like your style of what what kind of host do you like? Like there's like visual K style or I don't know like K-pop style or something like that. I don't really have any preferences because honestly um, I'm not really like attracted to hosts so I just said like whatever there is like just the best place that you can find. And he actually found somewhere and he came to the bar and picked us up and took us to the host club which I was very very happy about because I get lost very very easily and you'll find host clubs are in these very nondescript buildings and you have to kind of know exactly where you're going and you can get very very lost and you don't want to end up just like walking into a, a random place in Kabuki Chill because I could feel like that then maybe that could be dangerous. I've only been to host clubs about four or five times and that's honestly seven years ago so I had absolutely no idea what to expect. I don't know if it was completely different to what I remembered. But he took us to the club and we walked in and there were hosts, uh, maybe about eight of them, either side, and they, walked, they welcomed us as we came in. We went to the register and we had to show ID, obviously, to show that we are of age. And he did chat a little bit with me in Japanese to make sure that we could speak Japanese because um, a host club is kind of like conversation based. So if you don't speak at least basic Japanese, I would really advise against going because it's very, very loud and there's a lot of different things going on and it's a little bit hard to concentrate. So if you're not a little bit confident in Japanese, it would be very awkward, I feel. So yeah, when that was all done, we got taken to our seat. It's just kind of like a black leather couch with seats around it. It's exactly how I remembered. The club is kind of like dim lit and there was like a disco ball. It was very, very cliche. It's like my idea of a host club. Uh, there were other customers. Um, there were like a lot of very cute girls there, like a lot of cute Jedi girls with um, Konomi phone charms and stuff. They were really, really adorable <laughs> over in the corner. Uh, we sat down and immediately they brought us over to hosts. First of all, you have to tell them what you want to drink. We got like a basic set of shochu and like soft drink. I think I chose orange juice and my friend also just picked whatever I got. And then you had to give them your name. As they asked us for our name, I leant over and I whispered in my friend's ear, don't give them your real name. And they asked her for her name and she said her real name. She just blurted it out. It's not like a really, really bad thing, but I'm kind of a private person. And when I go to anything like that, I generally just don't give them my real name. I mean, it's not a big deal because I'm 100% I'm sure they'll instantly forget it. But I just think it's better to just not. <laughs> So they sent us over to host, they sat down and um, they gave us their business cards with their names on and you have to keep it on the table. Um, I, the first guy that sat down was actually the one I ended choosing just because um, we liked the same games. I remember we were talking about like Assassin's Creed and The Witcher and stuff like that and normally you just pick whoever has the same similar interests as you. And uh, it was hard because the whole time I was just having one conversation whilst listening to my friend's conversation to make sure that the guy didn't say anything weird to her or that she didn't have any problems or anything like that. 
But yeah, my friend's Japanese is very good. I think it's actually better than mine. There was a couple of times where she asked me to translate something, but that's mostly because like sometimes I don't know a word that she doesn't know or she'll know a word that I don't know. But yeah, conversationally, it went very, very smoothly. When they sit down, like honestly, it's been such a long time for me to speak with so many men. I didn't really know what to say. But when they sat down, I just asked them to introduce themselves and uh, they would say their name and blah 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 and they would talk about the things that they liked and, and then I could go off that and then normally they just ask you questions about yourself and you reply. It's like not that challenging. And like at first it started off pretty normal, we talked just about our hobbies and stuff like that and I think after every like 10 minutes they would switch the host out and bring two new hosts in. It was really funny because... I forgot how much they complimented you and <laughs> some of them was, went so hard. They were like, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You're, you're so beautiful. You look just like a doll. Like it was, it was kind of ridiculous. And almost every one of them said, wow, my type is actually foreign girls or girls with half faces. And I was like, hmm, I had a feeling you were going to say that. <laughs> Because obviously they're going to say that you're their type, it doesn't matter what you are, they'll definitely tell you, oh yeah, you're my type. So it was just really, really funny for me. The only thing that was different, there was actually two things. One of the hosts that stuck out the most, he had like bright blonde hair and he sat down and he was actually half Italian. Maybe the dumbest person I've met in my entire life. Like I don't want to stereotype hosts as being really dumb because I think that that's the stereotype of them but when I when um when I used to go I remember that like a lot of them use hosting as a way to pay for university so a lot of them are actually pretty smart but this guy was dumb dumb <laughs> he said he's half Italian but he didn't speak in any Italian at all and I said that I was from England and he asked me what language we speak in England <laughs> He thought that we spoke Igirisugo, like British language, and I'm like, no, we speak English in England. He was genuinely shocked. And then he said that he really wanted to visit England, and I said, let me guess, you just want to see Big Ben, right? And he's like, what's Big Ben? I'm like, uh, you know, like the, the big clock tower. He's like, clock? It was just really, really weird. Like, I've never met anyone who just literally did not know a single thing. So that was pretty interesting. The thing that surprised me was he asked if he could sit next to me. And I don't remember that being allowed, like, the first time you meet them. And I said no. And he was like, please, 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 let me sit next to you. Please, 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 I'll stop being annoying, I promise. And I'm like, okay, you can sit next to me, just don't touch me. And he sat next to me. And <laughs> it was just really, really strange. Like, I don't remember them being able to do that so it was just very odd for me the other thing was is my friend asked them if she could take a picture with them and i said um no like it's not allowed to do that and then the, they were like oh no no it's totally fine you can take pictures with us and i was like that's weird i don't remember you being able to take pictures either and like i'm not sure if it's just this establishment or like the places i went before the rules were different i don't know if the rules are changed but they let us take pictures with them. I was like, this is pretty good service because I'm paying 2,500 yen and like they sit next to me, they're letting us take pictures. It was pretty good, like not gonna lie. <laughs> of course, the lighting in there is terrible. We were very drunk at this time. So the pictures were absolutely disgusting, but it was still fun. And it's nice to take a picture as a memory. So I'm glad that we could at least do that. I had a really good time and like all of the hosts were really, really nice, albeit very stupid. I think we saw like, 10 in total and then they came back around at the end one more time really briefly and one of them come back and he's like you're gonna choose me right you're gonna choose me and i said like i don't remember who you are my guy i have like 10 different um business cards here like i i don't know who you are and he got really, really mad and then he asked me what my type was and i said like i don't really have a type like i feel like um japanese girls tend to say like i like this face and this eye shape or this nose shape and stuff like that but for western girls i feel like kind of we don't really do that but i said that i do kind of like guys that are a little bit chunky and he wasn't chunky and then he got kind of mad and he was like oh 
know, I know that you're, I'm not your type, so you're not going to choose me. And then he was kind of like pouting. It was just very, very awkward, and I wish that he didn't do that. After that, they said that our time was up, so we got led outside. We had to choose one. I actually chose the guy that played video games, just because I like talking about video games. And um, he asked if we could exchange lines. I gave him my line because it's awkward to just say no and then you, you can just delete it later and then uh, me and my friend left. My friend did say afterwards that she was kind of disappointed because they were, I don't want to say ugly, they weren't conventionally attractive but like for me that's fine because I don't really care and also we're paying like bottom level prices, so of course you're not going to get really, really attractive men. I'm sure if you uh, go to somewhere and pay like 5,000 yen or 10,000 yen and upwards, you'd get someone very attractive. So I guess in that case, it really, I mean, you get what you pay for. Would I go again? Um, it's not something I want to make a habit of. I know it's actually pretty cheap, but also I don't want to spend all my money on that when I can be buying like cute clothes and stuff. But it was fun and I, I think I would go if someone wanted me to show them how to do it. I know a couple of people who uh, have the intention of going, but they're just a little bit nervous. So I would probably go if I was just showing it to someone because it is a fun night out. But it's not something that I want to repeat and I don't think it's something that you should repeat either. <laughs> oh yeah, the only other thing was that obviously because it's a cheaper place, they're also quite young because I think you'll find um, the top posts tend to be like 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 because they have more experience. So when you're going to the cheaper places, they tend to be a little bit young. And when I asked them how old they were, and they said that they were like 21, 22, 23, I honestly just felt physically sick. It just felt like hanging out with my students. And yeah, so that's what's been up recently. Mostly my life has just been work and class. But it was nice to go out just like a night on the razzle and having a good time and being complimented by a bunch of men. Not gonna lie, it was like a pretty good night. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, any questions about host clubs or anything like that. Yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe.